Hello, everyone. So this problem came up in one of our Math Olympiad marathons. That happens five days a week in the Math Olympiad program. It says this, that a cube plus b cube plus c cube divided by a square plus b square plus c square show that it's greater than or equal to a plus b plus c divided by 3. That's our goal. And a, b, c are positive real numbers. That's also given. The main tool to solve this problem is the power mean inequality. So if you have seen arithmetic mean and geometric mean inequality, then, then power mean inequality is just a generalization of that. But if you have not seen it, here is what the concept is all about. You take n numbers, take n numbers, Suppose they are A1, A2, up to An. It's extremely important that these numbers are greater than or equal to 0. So remember that whenever you are dealing with AMGM type of inequality, the best scenario is to work with the numbers which are either 0 or more than 0. Okay. So we take these n numbers and we compute the mean of it. So what is the meaning of that? Well, in general, mean or average would be simply you add the numbers and then you divide by the number of numbers. That's the usual thing. Now, you can modify this. You can modify the mean to something like this. So you can raise each of these terms to a second power. And then to counter that effect, you can raise the whole thing to the power half. Now, understand this very carefully. This is like a intuitive uh, description of what I'm doing. I'm saying that I'm raising everything to the square, all the terms, and then to counter this exponentiation, because I want to take the mean or the average in some sense, I'm raising the entire thing to the power one half. Of course, it won't work like that in the sense that this one half will not cancel off with these twos. So that's fine. But I'm just talking about the intuition here. OK, so same thing you can do with the third power, actually. Uh, let's do it like this. So a1 raised to 3 plus a2 raised to 3 up to a n raised to 3 divided by n. Again, to counter all of these raising to 3, we can raise it to the power one third. And this exponenti exponentiation is now countered with this raising to the power one third. So that's the general sort of a motivation you can say. Now, we will be using this to create the power mean inequality. So all we need is that if this number is smaller than this number, the exponentiation number is smaller than this exponentiation number, then these two are also less than equal to. We can put a less than equal to sign here. So this one is smaller than this. Okay. So in general, in general, if alpha is less than beta, then you can write that a1 to the power alpha plus a2 to the power alpha up to an to the power alpha divided by n 
raised to the power 1 over alpha is less than or equal to a1 to the power beta, a2 to the power beta, up to a n to the power beta less than divided by n raised to the power 1 over beta. That is the general form of the power mean inequality. Okay. So we will be using that to solve this problem. You could try and pause the video here and tell me in the comment what strategy you have to solve this. Okay. So we learned the concept or at least looked at the concept. We didn't actually prove it, but we will be using that right away in this problem. So let's see how we do that. So I go to a new page. First, let's look at a cube plus b cube plus c cube divided by three. I can raise it to the power one third and I can say, okay, this is greater than a or equal to a square plus b square plus c square divided by three raised to the power one half. That's the first inequality that I have. This is by power mean inequality. And the second thing that I can write is a cube plus b cube plus c cube divided by three raised to the power one third is greater than or equal to a plus b plus c divided by three. Well, you could actually write raised to the power one by one, but that doesn't change anything. So I can just simply write this one. All right. So that's the first step. Both of these things come directly from power mean inequality. Now we can do one thing. We can raise the topmost inequality by the power of 2. So basically square it. So if we square this, what do we get? Well, we will get a cube plus b cube plus c cube divided by 3 raised to the power 2 third is greater than or equal to a square plus b square plus c square divided by 3. Okay, now we can multiply these two inequalities, the left hand side and the right hand side. So if we do that, we will get, let me, maybe I can just copy this. So I'll just copy this actually. And it's exactly some extra stuff has come. Okay. But yeah, so this is what we have. So this is the first one, and we can multiply that with a cube plus b cube plus c cube divided by 3 raised to the power 2 third. And that's greater than or equal to, you can multiply these two. So a plus b plus c divided by 3 times a square plus b square plus c square divided by 3. Now we are just one step away from the entire solution. So can you give me the final step as a comment? It's very simple. You just have to multiply these two things and, and maybe cross multiply a little bit. So give it a try and Tell me in the comment how you can finish it off and give me the final inequality. Also, if you have found any interesting problem in NGM inequality or power mean inequality, you can also let us know in the comment. Go to chinta.com to find out more resources. There is a link of the toolbox where there are certain free resources for mathematics olympiads, AMC, PRMO, IOQM, and all those things check those out. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please do subscribe and share and uh, let us know how we can improve, of course. Thank you.